Back to being an absolute ruler. Grandson, no, we don't want to put him out. So there's just some barons who might inherit outside. Let's begin this. Ooh, things are happening. Being raided a little bit. I don't know what the Saxons are doing here, though. Dear Saxony, what are you doing? Got to surely war for Berry. Well, in Kaibre the Young is winning, who I believe is. My son, is he not? Rather, my grandson. Sure. Can't join his war, sadly. Where are his troops? I kind of skipped over the word mayor here, and I thought then when my wife had to be put down. Uh, new suitable ride for her. Yeah, let's... Let's get her the white mare. She'll be fine. Check what we can build. I know you can see that over here too, but I like going through things like that. Let's build the fortifications up a bit more to be less attractive. Outside influences, such as raiders. Kings in my dynasty do not live all that long. Feels like. My grandfather died at the age of 28. My son and daughter in their 30s. But the empress. The emperors make it long. More people in a defensive pact against us. Oh yes. The observatory is finally ready, so let's go and look at the stars. Right, I'm beating a rabbit dog in the yard, and this granddaughter of mine hits me. Now we're bitter rivals. Well, I, I, I'm sure I will care for all the maybe six years I got left. If things are good. Speaking of which, check our hospitals. Make sure these are doing okay. Not much we can do here. I hope my son is, well, brother, my grandson is sieging like crazy out there. Because he certainly doesn't want to usurp these. New steward, eh? 
Just some duke. Ah, uh, we don't care. Put him in here. Get our council. Well and good. Speaking of which... Do we have another... Law change in us? Or oh, we could go for Ultimo Geniture, but... We're not going to. We leave all this as it is. Can we change something... Else. Ah. Ten years for empire laws, obligations, also ten years. Well, about ten years. Not going to happen. We're not going to change anything in our lifetime. What's technology looking? Oh, we could go up in tolerance and give women a marginal status which allows them to have seats on the council. Young girl bitten to death by the emperor's hound. Why have we only gotten aggressive hounds recently? An odd development. My grandson still does not have children of his own. Uh, let's figure out how the stars move because this is basically two levels of a event chain that you can follow through. One leads to the possibility of lunacy, and the other really doesn't. So that's which we're going to go for getting us some military tech probably what is our grandson oh he's the young let's see how old we can get on bet to take We build castle towns here. But walls. Let, let's build some walls. Who needs bridges if you can have walls? Fair enough investment. Might as well build this. Oh, so much to do. Castle Town, definitely more money. Absolutely always the thing you go for. Heavy cavalry would be a thing on stables for. Let's go for stables for then. Oh, we are spending most of our. Crusades money there. And I don't think we're going to see this be finished in our lifetime. And there we go. There is that. Alright, okay. Now, we have a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue indeed. We don't have our own son yet. So we are going to cancel plot We're going to cancel our ambition we shall go for grooming an heir and we shall switch no we shall not switch because we cannot switch we have vassal levies raised too long so let's stand everyone down except for these guys who are going into battle right now Right, so why do we have an issue? <laughs> because we have now all these kingdom titles and duchies that we don't want. Duchy of Paris. 
Let's unpause for a second so this kind of gets around to where it should be. Right, we don't want to give away the kingdom titles just yet, but we're definitely going to take care of all those duchies. So the Duchy of Anjou, we don't want. And we also need to... Oh, we need to keep some holdings here. So the Duchy of Paris will keep until we have a child that we can give this all to. Or we might have to just keep it in the family. Otherwise, check. How... What do we own, actually? Oh, we own these... this so none of these are really interesting okay let's get rid of our holdings out here Set our crown focus where it belongs so let's see who's worthwhile our brother hates us why desires the kingdom of Aquitaine didn't like our father. We are a tyrant? Doesn't say. So our brother and heir, he should... Ah, oh, he's an imbecile. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Who else, who, who do we have in line for succession? My sister. Can't give her titles. Just yet. Let's go up in tolerance a bit. So we can get marginal status for women. Which allows us to put women as spy masters. Chancellor. Allows female commanders. Alright, let's... Let's check our council first. What do we got? Yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, we need to sort the kingdoms. We definitely need to sort the kingdoms. But two to give it to. We'll find someone who is content. We should have gone for vice royalties. Oh well. So we shall search our vessels. Oh no, our realm. We don't need a vessel. We can make new vessels. And we want to load this. But we're looking for people who are content. And there's no one who is content. We're just going to go by opinion. Uh, someone who is not ambitious or anything. He looks okay. Let's give him some landed titles. County of this, and he gets the lower titles as well. And this guy who is gregarious. Does he have heirs? No. Not good. Arbitrary. Ah. 
Could invite people to court to her content. This one guy out there. One content guy. And he's Pictish. Oh man. Let's look to our court then. Who do we have? Who kind of likes us? My mother likes us, but we can't give her a title. You are betrothed to the Princess of Alba in a matrilineal marriage, so it stays in the family. So this kid is patient and content. He is ideal, honestly. He's a bastard, but that's okay. Let's get him this way. So his children will stay in our line. So he gets Paris. He actually gets all the holdings we have left here. Uh, we just give him the Kingdom of France and include all our titles. That gives him the Duchy of Normandy, the Duchy of Poitou. And he gets quite a bit of stuff there. Does he also get the counties? And let's give him the counties first. I'm not sure this works as well as I thought it might. County of Vendonne. And the county of... Saumur and the Duchy of Anjou. Oh god, he's going to be so happy. And the Duchy of Paris. And the Kingdom of France shall go to him. And we shall transfer some vassalages so we don't have to deal with these people upper Brittany and we can give him all these vassalages while keeping the kingdom title but we're not gonna this kingdom title we shall keep for a little bit and instead look to build a duchy down here so we decrease the number of vassals we have So, what duchy do you belong to? The Jarldom of Aquitaine is up there. Are you joking? What? That's crazy. Okay, so our kinsmen little bit unhappy with not being in the council. Let's see, maybe we can do something else somewhere with the duchies, especially we have them. We have two duchies, so that's fine. That's quite all right. Let's see if there's anything else we can consolidate. Oh, these are all dukes around here. Wait, we also hold the kingdom of Scots again. Let's check up here. He's already a strong vassal. And he would like to have the kingdom. And he's of our dynasty, so is his son. So that's okay. He doesn't have any super terrible traits. Neither does this. Well, that's good. He can have it. So we shall give him... The Kingdom of Brittenberg. And all the vassals belonging to it. And now we should put him on the council as well.
as our what? What are you good at? Oh yeah, you're not cool. Okay, Chancellor, so be that. And our martial position will be held by someone inconsequential right now. And someone who owes us a favor anyway. That's not bad. Let's get more people going. And put them in our counties to spread military rate so we can build up quicker. Right. You're still spying for us. Minor titles. We need a new commander here. Ah, not him. So we have a lot of young people in charge right now. That's really good because that way we can build long lasting relationships and we're not going to have this guy as our regent because he kind of hates us He's going to be our kinsman and thus we have managed all issues really except for maybe taking care of oh boy oh boy Let me imprison so many people again. Oh, he's my rival. Imprison him. We don't care. Let's check our factions. Those are going to change a bit. Oh, come on. Why are you leading a faction? You're the happiest pig around. Lucky we have this army raised, which we don't really want to raise, to have raised. Let's check our faction here. This one is the worst. Well, guy. Why is everyone against it? He's a heretic. Who is he even? Down here. Do I want to deal with these people? Do I have someone from my lineage? Oh yeah, my brother. What's your trouble? Well, it's better than nothing. Let's give him this kingdom. His children will be of our dynasty. It's not great, but... I'd rather not deal with all these... Silly vassals here. Let's have him deal with it. There we go. Oh, he probably wants a seat on the council too. Does he not? Could give him an advisor slot. Oh no, we don't have advisors anymore because our council is small. Where is he? Doesn't even show up to be picked. Huh. Oh, he is a strong vassal. Uh, I don't want to mock someone. Right, let's stand down this army. Why do we have retinues here? What retinues do we have? Oh, quite a bit of heavy cavalry. Let's bring those boys home. I should say so. At this 
little uprising has ended. So looking at this, we're not even in a terrible spot. But when can we change this? About another year. And so we shall. Eventually. <laughs>